And pick out one of the judges' names for your questions. Ed, the judge is Ananda Lewis. Hello. Hi. Your first question is, have you ever used your looks or charm to avoid getting a ticket? <laughs> well, actually, I have. I blamed it on a sneeze, and it actually worked. Yes. Like that. <laughs> Does money buy justice? In the entertainment industry, I think sometimes it does, and I don't think it's fair because we need to hold those people up to high standards. Mm. Uh, and lastly, in a courtroom, are celebrities at an advantage or a disadvantage? An advantage, and I don't think that that's fair. I think everybody needs to be able to go by the same rules and regulations, and it's time that they do. Thank you very much, Nevada. <laughs> Thank you. Would you take your place on the scoring disc, please? Missouri, please reach in and pick out one of the judges' names for your question. And your judge is Danny Baldwin. Good luck. Thank you. Is the media's need for controversy bad for sports? Media's need for controversy in sports. Um, I guess, can you explain what you mean as controversy in particular sport? I can just read the question. Okay, is, the thank you. is the media's need for controversy bad for sports? Well, I think um, there is a lot of controversy in sports as being role models, and I think holding them to the higher standard that they are, that I think the media shouldn't. Here we go. <laughs> Let me ask I... the second question. Okay, thank you. What female athlete do you admire the most? Actually, I'm not a big sports person, so it's very difficult for me to answer that question because I'm an art major and I'm an artist. And honestly, I'm not a big sports fanatic. Um, but my favorite female sport player, I can't honestly answer that because I don't watch much sports. Thank you very much. Would you take your place on the scoring disc, please? Texas, please reach in and pick out one of the judges' names for your question. Thank you. Doris Roberts. Is there an inherent friction between mothers and daughters? I think there is, but I think it's wonderful. My mother and I have had a, a friction at times, but it's been great, and we're the best of friends, and she's up there rooting for me. Hi, Mom. All right. Has there ever been an occasion when you had to admit to your mother that she was right? And if so, when? Absolutely. Lots of occasions, unfortunately. Um, the most recent probably refers back to speeding tickets. She's always telling me to slow down. And I can't tell you how many, well, she doesn't know. I've gotten three tickets in the last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you do an impression of your mother? Um, yes, but I can just use my eyes. <laughs> she's an eyes person. That's all you need to see is the eyes, and you know okay. she's mad. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. Take your position on the scoring chart, please. <laughs> District of Columbia, please reach in and pick out one of the judges. Don't oh, look, you've got it. And your judge is Ernie Hudson. Huh. Is more rigorous testing the best way to improve your, our educational system? I believe so. I believe that when you are challenged, you tend to rise up and meet that challenge. So I definitely believe that, yes. Okay. What weren't you taught in school that you wish you had learned? I would probably have to say how to speak slowly. I have a hard time sometimes speaking very fast. So if I could just articulate and speak very slowly, that's probably one of the things that I would probably do. <laughs> and who's the best teacher you ever had? My best teacher would be my piano teacher. I love her to pieces. It was Candy Jefferson, and she literally changed my life. I played piano, and I love it, and it's helped give me discipline in my life. Thank you very much. Would you please take your position on the scoring disc? Please reach in and pick out one of the judges' names for your question. 
It is. Martha Stewart. Mom, it's Martha! <laughs> Do we too often confuse celebrity with achievement? I think it's very easy to combine the both and we look to celebrities as role models sometimes and I think as parents we need to step back and prove to the, our children and, and educate the children to let them know that we ourselves as families should be role models, not so much celebrities or basketball players or football players. Is the media to blame for the emphasis on winning at all costs? Um, I think in the recent years, I think it's getting that way. Um, all the hype surrounds the Super Bowl or the NBA championships. Um, it's getting to the point where it's win at all cost. Um, I hope it's not like this with the pageant, but... <laughs> Who's an effective role model for young girls today? And if, and Thank you very much. Your time is up. Would you take your place on the scoring disc?